Hi, for today's video, I will be showing you the integration capabilities of the Advanco Azure adapter with the Azure Service Bus. The Service Bus allows us to queue messages until the receiving application can process them. In this scenario, we will be sending data from SAP to Azure. The first thing we need to do is create our queue in our desired namespace. As you can see, I have already created the queue right here. One thing I do want to mention though is, under Shared Access Policies, is where we can find the connection string and key for this service bus. Now let's go into the queue. As you can see, I already have the queue created and right here is where we can see the details of our queue and what's coming in and coming out. After creating our queue, we then want to open up SAP Cloud Integration and create our iFlow. As you can see, we have our SOAP sender channel and the Azure receiver channel with the message trace and simple message mapping in between. Here, is where we can map our message to the correct structure. In this case, I'll be sending an IDOC. After we do our message mapping, we then want to open up our security materials. Here is where we'll define the connection string and key to our service bus that we'll use later on in our integration. After that, we then want to open up our service bus queue and identify our connection with the queue name as we define in Azure. Following that, we have our authentication, as I said, with the connection string and the namespace we gave it under security materials. Following that, we also have some more message properties that allow you to customize your message protocol. After that, we want to go to advanced settings. Here's where we can establish our processing parameters and set our maximum concurrency. For this case, I have five. Going down, we also see the content conversion capability of this adapter, where we'll be converting XML to JSON when sending this data through. Finally, after creating our queue and establishing our iFlow, we then want to make sure the integration works by sending a message through. As you can see, we have one active message right here, which means the message has gone through successfully. In conclusion, using the Advanco Azure adapter makes integration quick and easy.